And we're back! We're back! With another video, man. And today, we're gonna be reviewing... A bust on market. All right. And how much did this cost then? It costs $11.99. $11.99, man. And we got ourselves a lunch platter. As a matter of fact, it is a half chicken platter, right? Uh, we just called it lunch because, you know, it's lunch time here. But anyways, we got two sides. We got the uh, the sweet potato casserole with the mac and cheese, the half piece of chicken, and one piece of cornbread. Hey, man, you get this all for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. That is insane. This is a, hey, you get a buck out of your pocket for this one. For real. Like, this is, this is amazing. And um, I'm pretty sure this is good for two people. Like, just look at the size of that chicken, man. It is amazing. Yeah. All right? But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and dig into it. All right? Go ahead and do the honors, Dad. Go ahead okay. and do the honors. I'll try the chicken first. All right? Go ahead and try right. the chicken. Oh, he's going with the hands. Oh, look at He's coming with the hands, and he got himself a wing. chicken wings. Yep, he got himself a wing. Or... Yeah. And by the way, guys, this is a rotisserie chicken, by the way. Rotisserie chicken. Not no fried chicken. Rotisserie chicken. And uh, Boston is known for the rotisserie chicken. And um, I heard that it was really, really good and juicy. So... We about to see. We about to see. All right, what you think about that chicken wing, Dad? Just really, really delicious. All right. Well, go ahead and try the um the little piece of uh, breast or whatever, or try the meat. See if it's actually juicy or not. Yeah, it's juicy or not. Look at that. All right. Show that peep. Uh, show the peep. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, yo, hold on. Wait a minute. It's he, so good. He's getting a little too excited. Let's yeah. See what the hype is all about, y'all. So here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my hands as well. Since my dad's using his hands, and I just think it's appropriate for this type of timing, right? Ooh, look at that piece of chicken right there, juicy and greasy. You can already see my hands greasing up, man. That is crazy. Yeah. Cheers. This chicken is so good. Really, it's not dry. It's really not dry, yo. Moist. It's, it's uh, fresh. You know. And it is fresh. He's not lying. Like yeah. it literally came out of that little oven thingy, mm -hmm. and it was just dropping juice everywhere. It's crazy, but. Here's another look, guys. As you can see, my hands are greasy as heck and just juicy. And then there goes that skin right there. That's why I try with the skin. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Told you. Mm. Oh, let's try the mac and cheese. Mm. What you think about the mac and cheese? It's mac and cheese. More mac on cheese. cheese. Right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm going to try the sweet potato. Hey, man, he's going to get ahead of me, man. This guy must like it. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Little mac and cheese. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's, that's solid mac and cheese, man. It is. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that mac and cheese. It's a little watery, not as creamy. Um, I think they kind of like. It's, it's sort of like they forgot to drain the pasta, so like all that water just mixed in with the cheese. So it's yeah. like a little watery. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as creamy, like you don't get that creamy thick texture. So it's a little watery on, on, on the side, but overall, the taste of the mac and cheese is pretty good. Like you can taste the saltiness and it's just mac and cheese, right? Mm -hmm. But I would prefer it just to be a little more creamy. Let's go ahead and try the sweet potato casserole. Mm -hmm. And this time we're gonna try it with the marshmallow and the walnuts, I believe. I'm not sure what that is, but there's some type of nuts. So, cheers. Mm. Yeah, um, it's a lot sweeter with the marshmallow. Yeah, probably. that's sweeter, yeah. But, um, yeah, um, it kind of tastes like candied pecans. Um, I, I don't know what kind of nuts they are, but they're candied. And, um, yeah, sweet potato mixed in really well, mushed in really well. And uh, the marshmallow adds that little sweetness to it as, uh, as well. And uh, if you have a sweet tooth, Make sure to just include that marshmallow in there or maybe even mix it with the marshmallow in there and um you know you got yourself a really sweet uh, sweet potato casserole <laughs> so we're gonna try also that they have a cornbread oh yeah we also oh, got yeah. cornbread right there it looks a little pale one, huh? yeah, it looks right. a little pale okay. cheers but, hey cheers, cheers. Man. Mm. Mm. so this cornbread I don't know how cornbread's supposed to be, but there's some cornbread that I tasted that was very sweet and very, like very to no little sweetness. But if you're looking for a cornbread on the sweet side, I truly do recommend this. But um, it's not dry. It does look a little pale. I feel mm -hmm. like it could be a little more crispy. Yeah. I like my cornbread a little crispy as well. It's just you need to cook more. Not necessarily cook more, but like just toast it a little bit more, yeah, right? Toast it a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. I guess you could say cook it, cook it a little bit more, so yeah. it gets like a little burnt, mm -hmm. right? But 
Yeah. Oh, well, good flavor, man. Yeah, they're good flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it's not too dry. No? Yeah. yeah. But um, overall, this meal, for its price, taste, and value, mm -hmm. I'll do it right. I'll give it a 9.5. Ooh. Again? <laughs> for oh. me, I rate this 9. 9? Yeah. I love I like their chicken. Yeah. It's good, man. It's good. It's really, good really good value. Yeah. This could be shared for like three people, man. Yes. With tiny stomachs, of course. But, you know, this is enough for my dad since he has a big stomach. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. Or, dad, do you have anything else to say? We're out! We're out, man. We're out. He's going to demolish this. Yeah.